As an architect, I've incorporated Programmer deep into my workflow. And today I wanna to show some real world examples. Last time I showed you how to use Programmer. This time we're diving into the client dashboard as that's where your clients and the real world examples are truly gonna happen. So this in front of me right now is a live project. We're still working through it and it's not complete just yet. So there'll be a few things blurred out for privacy reasons. Open in front of me is the client dashboard itself where you'll see the beautiful project highlighted in the render up the top and our schedule down the bottom. Now your client or builder would come into this schedule and then they'd see a plethora of items that you've already selected and curated for them. Before we dive into the real world example, let's take a quick deep dive into the client dashboard. So as you can see right now, we have everything displayed as our card view. On the top right hand corner, we can switch to list view as well if we wanted to, which provides us with more of the look and feel that we're used to in the back end of Programmer. But for clients and builders who don't actually have to go through and specify everything, I like to set the default to the card view because it's just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. But you can always switch back and forward at any time. Then in the top left hand corner, you typically see either two or three tabs. First of all, you have the summary tab, which showcases all our products like we see here. Then we have the financial tab. In this particular project, we aren't engaged to do any of the financials. So you'll see them all blanked out as zero. However, if you were doing financials, you could go in and add all that information so your client and builder can see that information immediately. That information then helps with the approval and feedback process. So for instance, this FRB3 urban stone brick, which if I click on the link, it will actually tell me the unit price of $6.88 per unit, would help me make an informed decision to approve or reject this item. Let's say I've sent this to the builder and the builder is going to approve or reject. They've spoken to the client, we've all agreed, Let's go ahead, hit approve. Then an additional pop-up window comes up asking me to confirm the approval and provide any additional feedback. If I needed additional feedback, I could go ahead and add things like, I want the watercolor to be white. I want the tradesperson doing this job to be X or anything in between. Otherwise, I could simply just go submit and confirm approval. In that scenario, going back to our summary, you'll see that product is approved now and I can't change it. If I go to my list view, it's a lot easier to see all the products approved, rejected, or still in draft. Now, in the card view, something I touched on previously was this individual link button. Not only is it in the approvals and feedback form, it's under almost every single product that's been linked. So if I wanted to see that FRB3 as the client, I can just simply click on the link. Or if I wanna see this castellation cladding, click on the link, and it'll take me directly to the supplier we found. These links are one of the most critical things in any programmer schedule, and Take the time honestly to add them to as many products as you can because it's invaluable at the end of the project. What's going on team? My name is David Tomich. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. And I wanted to jump in the middle of this video to let you know that down in the description, you can get your first month of programmer absolutely free. I won't say anymore, let's get back to the tutorial. All right, so I've shown you the client dashboard. Let's take a look at the real world example. To do that, we have to show a real world project. So we'll take a look at the architectural documentation straight out of ARCHICAD. You'll see on the top right hand corner, I have a series of keynotes, which is something I'm building in to my very own ultimate ARCHICAD template for those of you following along the channel. We haven't got there yet because there is just so much information to put in and I'm wanting to take my time to do it right. But this is an example of what it will look like at the end. So every single item is detailed from the standard general keynotes, the site preparation, everything in between. And if I scroll through the documentation, you'll see it reappear on multiple pages time and time again. It's on electrical plans, room layouts, almost everything, because it's how I use ARCHICAD. Now, if I come back to my elevations, this is where we can actually emphasize how ARCHICAD and Programmer align and collaborate. On the top right hand corner, we have our keynote schedule and I'll continue zooming in so we can see it clearly. You'll see at the very top, I have FRB3, Urban Stone Brick Half Bond, 390 by 90 by 40. And if we look at our elevation, let's just look at this elevation north, for example, FRB3 Urban Stone points to the brickwork. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, as a client, you'd see FRB3 Urban Stone Brick and go, cool, what on earth is Urban Stone Brick? By simply using this FRB3 code, we can come back into our programmer schedule, find FRB3, or simply just search for FRB3, and it will automatically pop up. 
That way we can click into FRB3, see a picture of it, or go to our details and see more information. You'll see obviously I approved it during this video. We'll see it is the urban stone brick, it's face brickwork, it's 90 by 40 by 390, and the client could always go to the actual link and take a look at the product in a bit more detail. So now they have a ton of information, a few clicks, rather than trying to Google or figure out what on earth an urban stone brick is, especially when urban stone is a company who sells hundreds of bricks. It really helps simplify the process and make sure the exact specifications are selected. Now, as I scroll through, you'll see that exact same scenario played out time and time again, from planter boxes to rainwater tanks, to all of the doors and windows, downpipes, channel drains, and plumbing fixtures. So for instance, you'll see the UAT toilet flush plate, the UAT basin tap, coat hooks, grab rails, and everything in between. Going back to our architectural project and scrolling down to our room layouts, if I zoom into this UAT, we'll see mirror one up the top, we'll see our grab rails, our toilet roll holders, our towel rails, our coat hooks, and our toilet itself. Everything is keynoted on the actual drawings and then everything is keynoted on the right hand panel. So that way when we come back into programmer, we know exactly what our toilet roll holder is going to look like, we know exactly what our coat hook is going to look like, what all of our grab rails are going to look like and even our bottle trap underneath the vanity basin. This helps clients visualize everything, especially when we're giving them 2D drawings that a lot of people don't understand or don't know how to read. So for clients who like to see the specifications and details with a lot more information, Programmer is absolutely critical. Now, again, that continues for so many additional selections from door hardware to grout to tiling and even insulation, power points, light switches, smoke detectors, the absolute works. You can add almost anything you want to Programmer so that you can then implement it into your project. The last thing that we do is of course, add our furniture and accessories and styling. Now that isn't documented specifically in the ArcCAD project because this is a construction set of documentation. And because this project is relatively simple, we were only engaged for the reception and meeting room for interior design. We didn't have to go ahead and outline everything. It was simple enough to do in programmer itself. So for example, we have the hand wash for the UAT, the boardroom table, boardroom vase sets, trays, artworks, candles, and lights and pendants as well. That way the client can go through here, go straight into this swivel chair from Nick Scarly, have a look at what it looks like in full 3D, confirm with our details that the color should be stone. So we'll take a look at the stone color. And there we go, we can see the exact product selection in 3D from Nick Scarly. All the client has to do is literally come in here, go to the live product page, purchase the products and put them into their project when they're ready. Anyway, that is all for me today, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And like always, I'll see you next week.